today we got five secret pro tips in modern warfare 2 to help you improve for the first tip we're going to be talking about how to reset your tax sprint so you can sprint forever now this is obviously very beneficial in a game where your tactical sprint does run out and if you did not know tactical sprint is the fastest movement speed you can do and you definitely want to be using it 99 percent of the time until you can't no more it's going to allow you to hit some crazy jump shots like this because you get full movement and you know call of duty lately has been based off a lot of momentum so you want to have that tactical sprint for that full momentum in game so here are three ways to do it very quickly for the first one as soon as your tactical sprint runs out what you want to do is you want to punch the air this is going to allow you to reset your tactical sprint and you can sprint again ironically enough this is a very funny way to do it but it gets the job done so this is one of the first ways and it's definitely i mean it's viable you can definitely do it while running around the map for number two and this is more of a style way as soon as you sprint for two to three seconds you're going to want to dolphin dive this is another way to one reset your tactical sprint but also it gets you put you know it pushes you a little farther versus the melee where you kind of stay still for a second this is also a good way to you know maneuver around the map dolphin dive even though dolphin diving isn't the best mechanic to engage right now it still allows you to reset your tactical sprint it pushes you forward a bit and it definitely you know you're going to be able to maneuver the map quickly and another thing like i said you definitely want to have that tactical sprint up so this is a plus for the third way and the last one it's called the ads spam so you need to have automatic tactical sprint i believe for this to work but basically you want to sprint forward and you want to start spamming your ads uh, this is another good way to do it because one you're never going to run out of tactical sprint and two you're going to kind of have your gun up and it you're you're <laughs> it looked kind of funny but you can you don't always have to spam it like you can sprint for a couple seconds but as long as you're somewhat spamming it your your tactical sprint is never going to run out but it's definitely a very effective way and your tactical sprint never runs out you can see i'm moving at pretty fast speed now for this one there is a new and improved way to instant drop shot and this movement mechanic is absolutely broken to do this one all you're gonna have to do is quickly tax sprint forward and then back up and prone so it's gonna look like this and you're going to see it's going to be a very quick movement mechanic. So you instant jump, instant forward, and then back up and drop shot. This movement does, may not seem too crazy on your screen, but you are going to drop slightly quicker. But it's going to look even crazier against your opponents. And let me show you very quickly why. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> And it's an instant drop shot but as you can see he's just doing the movement mechanic now for another important and next tip if you did not know modern warfare 2 does not have red dots on the mini map you're seeing you're hearing enemy shoots no no red dots on the mini map and it's definitely a very annoying thing and can be a little bit frustrating because you do not know where your opponents are shooting you definitely hear the sound but even then sound doesn't always do it justice you can't even find out where they're shooting from i'll have a guy near me and i don't even know where the heck the guy is at so another way to get uh, around this and to kind of locate your enemies is using your compass. Now, this is kind of funny and it does take a little bit more effort to look at, but it definitely is viable and you get the job done. So if you did not know, if you notice the top area all the way above your screen, you have a compass and it shows when people are shooting and they're red dots. So for example, there's a guy right here to my in front of me, straight in front of me. And there's a red dot here to the right. And you can see there's a guy shooting here now. And it does get, you know, it's kind of difficult to pay completely pay attention to while you're playing the game. But this is another way to actually locate the red dots. And if you did not know that, it is a little secret thing. It's, it's pretty hidden. Not many people pay attention to that part of the screen, nor probably care about the compass. But this is another way to now locate the red dots uh, to kind of take over the mini map situation. I'd highly recommend you get used to it, and it's definitely going to be very beneficial in the long run. Now for the next one, we all know Dead Silence is not a perk. It is a field upgrade, but game sound is very loud, and so are your footsteps. So you're getting located very easily. There are a couple ways to kind of avoid the sound, and I'm going to be breaking down some things for you guys. One, you can obviously pre-aim around corners. It's very hard to hear someone pre-aiming. You're very silent, obviously you know they can still hear you it's a slight sound and they have to be pretty close to even be able to hear you but this is one of the ways another ways another way is crouch walking uh if you have double time equipped by the way you crouch uh walk 30 percent faster which i do right now so you can see i'm cr crouch walking at a decent decent speed and some of these attachments also can lower or increase your crouch walking speed which is nice 
so those are the two ways and this is another way to be completely silent it requires a crouch walk but you have to move at a very slow pace you can even say a snail play, uh, pace and this is going to be absolutely silent like even if you they cannot hear you at all it's like you if you have dead signs popped uh this can be handy in a very certain and extreme situations where you think someone is literally on you and you don't want to make a sound um, but this is another way to do it another thing to keep in mind if you ever want to push something or you know fight somebody you can also make noise with like a semtex uh something else to mask your footsteps and it's gonna do the job so let's say you guys like here you need that you go as soon as the nade ends and by the time i'm here he would have no because uh, the nade blows up there's a little after effect it basically masks your footsteps for at least a, like you know two three seconds so it can if you can you know hit, really hit some 200 iq plays with that uh you can really understand that you can do plays like that with sem texas flashes uh you know this depends on the situation but you can use that flash to push up those two seconds and now you're in the guy's face and you know he's not gonna expect it and he's most likely dead lastly before we move on about sounds uh i want to let you guys know that dead silence even though you are completely silent while you're dead silence they can hear that noise if they're nearby now it was extreme in the beta but they nerfed it pretty good it still sounds like a pew, 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 pew. like a little little computer you know computer thing they have to be pretty close to hear it it's not like it's as bad as it was in the beta but it is uh noticeable so if you know always keep that in mind while you pop for death silence and you have an enemy nearby and now for one of the biggest tips and like i said i left the best for last it's how to slide cancel an mw2 now obviously this isn't as it this isn't as crazy as it's been in past cods but it's still viable and you definitely can still do it and slide around and get some kills so for the first one it's going to be a very simple one and it's not going to be as broken maybe uh this is a very easy way to slide around corners and shoot your gun it's going to be slide yy and as soon as you do that you can aim in right away and shoot and it's going to kind of slow down your slide now this is really good to do like around corners you can kind of time it and it's going to do like a weird animation it's going to catch your opponents off guard and like i said this is a very simple way to do it kind of looks like that i'm, I'm gonna show you guys one more time real quickly you're going to want to time it so i'm gonna probably do it from right here slide slide and as you can see it's definitely it's nothing crazy but it's viable and you definitely can abuse it if done correctly now for the next one and it's a little bit harder maybe because of what you need to do but it's a little bit of a better slide cancel you need to have a semtex this is the negative even though you know most people run semtex but you do need to have a semtex equipped and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cancel the semtex oops so when you pull out semtex you're going to want to press triangle or whatever your button is to bring it back in and that's how you're going to basically do the slide cancel so you're going to slide pull out your semtex and then bring it back in and then you can shoot so i'm gonna do it a very quick quickly manner so this is me doing it very quickly it's like a, it's like a it's like a it's it's like a fighting game combo you don't even see me pull out the semtex because it's that fast if you do it correctly it's very fast and this is like a slightly better version of the yy slide cancel it does it does take an extra step but it's a little bit faster and you can definitely tell your pull of time is uh, a little bit better so one more time i'm gonna slide pull out my semtex boom slide pull out my semtex boom and you you're left in this kind of slide crouch you know movement uh prone like it's very hard for them to one kind of react to that and two you should be able to hit it like a nice little camera to kill them one last bonus tip because i appreciate you guys and you guys have been showing so much love in my youtube videos thank you guys so much for all the likes the comments and the subscriptions uh, but this is going to be giving you guys which i've talked about it in my aim video but more aim assist so you want to go to your controller settings you want to go to advanced and you want to change your aim assist type from default to black ops even though default isn't horrible black ops will give you even a more aim assist pull and will it's going to basically allow you to hit your shots easier and you probably aren't going to miss but hey guys i appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching the video make sure to like comment and subscribe show some love i hope you guys have a wonderful day it's been a boy apathy and i'll see you in the next tip video peace